What is up, people? We're the One Stop Bids. And today we're going to be opening up a three booster pack. Plus three. Thank you. God. Or... Now you're probably wondering why it's darker than your usual videos. It's because we haven't recorded. Zombies. Zombies. And we haven't recorded in a very long time. So, coming out of the dark for you guys. Um, hopefully you loved our joke. Um, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I'm already happy. You know which pack I want to open. Bristling Hydra. Shiny. Dragons are Tarkir. Not so shiny. Bait Verge. Also shiny. And Journey to Nyx. Wouldn't it make more sense with Constark here in this pack? Just mm, say No, everyone bought all those packs. But would it make sense to put Dragon Cons and Fate Reforge? Since but all the cons them. packs went way up in value and they're way harder for the stores to find. That's true. They put these packs because not they don't have that much of a reinterest. That's true. I mean I a lot of my big time collector friends tell me Journey's one of the worst sets ever. I still I had a lot of fun playing it. You're not fully wrong. I have a bias for the Tarkir set just because I came back to the Tarkir set. Yeah, none of the cards I wanted in this pack are in this pack. One of the cards I like is in this pack. I got Shaman of the Great Hunt. And for Popper players, Warflare. Because that's actually a pretty decent card in Popper. Mm -hmm. Decent card, actually. Nothing like crazy good. But nothing like crazy bad either. I mean... Ooh, another pop card. Oh, shiny card. The, the cards that I think are inherently good are Farika's Chosen, a 1-1 one, one for 1 with Death Touch. You're never going to go wrong from turn 1 throwing out a black Death Touch creature. Um, Font of Fertility. Good, I'll take that off your hands. Okay. So, the cards I kind of got that were kind of useful. Yes, there's a cat on it. It was a shiny. A shiny card. Battle of Tongue Shriek, which has won me actually a lot of games. Anticipate. It was really good first time. And the Puggies Walker. Well, that's a win. Yeah, I mean, this. I spent like 11 bucks on this box. I spent 12 on them two years ago for a Commander deck, so I mean. He's probably worth like five or six bucks. The Hydra's probably worth like two or three. Yeah, so that is some tac tactics from my rare too. So. Oh, that's pretty interesting. What's with you and Planeswalkers this week? Yeah, we did a pre-release for... Uh, what did we do pre-release for? Uh, Rivals of Exelon. Yes. And I pulled... His the... promo right away was the red-black Planeswalker. And we're kind of like, well, ain't that great. So I got a piece of crud. And then my and first pack I open is Baraska from... We both said, oh, let's just open a regular Ixalan because we've opened so much of it, we won't be excited no matter what we get in these. First pack, he gets Baraska, and it's like, okay then. And my last pre-release before that, I opened up for... Uh, Watley, Watley and, and Jace. Jace. Yeah. So just every time he goes to a pre-release, apparently he gets two Planeswalkers. Yeah, I... I don't get crap. We have more packs to open soon. Hopefully there's more playing fuckers in there. Rivals of Ixalan, not even out for a whole another week from when we're recording this, but, you know. Maybe they go two days before? <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been great. Have a great one. Be uh... awesome. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye, guys!